So we have a little application over here. It shows information about employees. There's a section here called statistics that shows information about the salary of employees. And we want to limit who can access this information. So we want to only have managers be able to access this area of the application. So there are several things that we're going to show. So the first thing is that you can choose one of the flows and if you go into the settings there's an area here called security it's a new one and it allows you to choose which roles are allowed to access the flow so the first thing you'll want to do is go into your application setting and under user roles create new roles if you don't have ones so far so we're going to have one role which is for employee this would just be for people who can access the employee area. The other one would be manager, and that would be for people who have access to the more advanced areas. Okay. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is map those two groups or users in your IDCS. We'll skip that for now, uh, but you'll need to do it before you go production. All right, so now that we have the roles defined, we can go to our flow, and again, under settings, we can now add a specification that only managers are allowed to see this page. Okay, so it's not this page, this is actually for the flow. You can also do this on specific pages. For example, if we want to have this page, the employee edit employee only allow access again to managers, we can go over to the page level and define in the same way that the edit page is only accessible for managers. In fact, you can do it also at the application level. So at the application level, under security, you can indicate whether employees are allowed to access the application or whether managers are allowed to access the application or both of them. And this would prevent people who don't have those roles in IDCS from being able to access your application. All right, so now that we have this, if we'll run the application, let's open uh, the page first over here, you can specify as which role you're accessing the application. So let's access it as an employee. So not as a manager, we'll use this one and we'll click the preview. So as you can see, we can see details about employees, but if we'll try and click the edit, we won't be able to navigate to that flow because we prevented the edit page from being accessible by regular employees. Similarly, we can click on departments to see information about departments, which is accessible to employees. But if we'll try and access stats, it won't navigate us over there because this one is a flow that is blocked. So this is when you're an employee. You can now switch it to see how it's going to behave. If you're a manager and click the run, and now you're able to select an employee and also go and edit the details of the employee over here. You're also able to go to the menu and select stats and go to the stats page. So as you can see, as a manager, you can do everything in the application. Now, this is protection at the page application and flow level. But in some cases, as we see, we also would want to hide buttons or elements on the page based on the role. So for example, why show the edit button to people who can't actually edit? So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the button that we have over here and we're going to right click on it and say surround with an if statement. Then we can use a condition here to decide when to show this button. And one of the things you can use in a condition from the set of system variables that we keep at the application level and under user you would see the roles, which is an array. So you can, for example, say, show this if roles manager is true. Okay, so if the person is a manager. And you'll see now, this is how the page would look for a manager if we go over and switch to an employee. The button is now hidden. Okay, so this is how you hide specific component. Now there's one tricky part, which is the area over here in the menu, okay? How do you hide this? So this menu, if you're using the default Visual Builder template, is coming from a fragment, which is the shell door. 
So here is the list of objects, or navigational items, and this is inside the navigation list, and you can see that the navigation list is actually based on an ADP, basically an array, of the menu options. So if you look at the application level and the variables, you would see our ADP, and our ADP is based on a variable called navigation data, where we have the list of menu items. Okay? So we want, for example, to hide the stats menu item. So to do that, we're going to go back to the shell drawer, and we need to conditionally hide things. So we're going to create a little JavaScript function to control whether things are allowed to be shown. So let's get a function. We'll call it is allowed. And the function needs to get two parameters. One is the ID of the navigation item. And the other one is the role that is currently accessing us. And then in here, we can use an if statement to ask if the ID is equal, for example, to stats. And role.manager, okay, then we're going to, actually if it's not role manager, so if it's not a manager accessing stats, it's not allowed, so we're going to return false. Otherwise, we're going to return true. All right, so now that we have the list function, we can go back to our UI, pick up the navigation item, inside it we have the hyperlink and we're going to surround the hyperlink with an if statement. Okay, and um, you can see that the hyperlink is passing in the current data name. So for the bind if, so for the condition here, we're going to use an expression builder so to make it a little easier. Instead of returning to, we're going to go over to our fragment functions and use the is allowed function. The first parameter that we're passing in is the current data ID. That's the ID of the navigation. The uh, second parameter that we're passing in is coming from our system variables over here. And the user, we have the roles like that. So just fix this here like that. And then save. OK, so now we can see the menu. This is what we see if we have both roles, if we just are an employee. Okay, we only see employee and department. And if we're a manager, we'll see all three. So again, if we now run the application as a manager, I should be able to see the navigation item. And indeed, I can see all of them. If I then switch over and access it as an employee, click the preview. I can only see employee and departments. So this is how you can show hide and secure your user interface when using Visual Builder.